I'm Yasmin and welcome to my channel. Here I talk about all things to do with budgeting, careers and simplifying my life. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for clicking on another video. And if you're not, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's a wonderful community over here and I really appreciate everyone who follows. Today, we're gonna to go through my September budget, exactly how much I am spending on different parts of my budget, my bills, my expenses, and a little bit of savings this month as well, guys. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's get into it. We are looking at September's budget. We've already got the bills here that are um, that come through from the tab that is the bill planner. So on my spreadsheet, we have a bill planner that looks like this, and we put all of the bills in the setup tab. I can show you very quickly. We put all of our bills in the setup tab and it pulls through the bills to the bills tab. And then here we plan how frequently we pay them, what date they're due and how much they are. And then that pulls through to each of the monthly tabs. So I'm looking at September. And as I can see here, I already have my bills having been pulled through and I can see that my bills are a total these are fixed fixed bills I can see that they're a total of 2027 pounds and there is a summary over here which has that um, if the cells are colored in we're not touching them they've got formulas in there but I can see that obviously I've got 2027 pounds worth of bills in September and I'm not including any rollover um, for my starting amount. I'm not sure this is pulling it through, but I'm going to unclick that and just say, give me nothing. We're not pulling anything over um, because I don't really have any rollover from August anyway. So let's start with the income that I have planned and am expecting to receive in September. So P-A-Y-E is an amount that I pay myself from my business and I will be paying myself £827. That is quite a common number for a lot of self-employed people to pay themselves and that's because it is like the just under the threshold of when you start to pay various taxes and um, things like that. So often when people have limited companies in the UK, they will pay themselves a uh, lower wage and then pay themselves with dividends on top of that it's a very common thing it used to be tax efficient and would mean that you'd pay less tax overall but i think there's a if anything it's a, such a tiny proportion in it now that it makes no difference but that's just how my business is set up and what my accountant does for me so yeah i'm not actually saving anything in taxes um Self-employment, I'm going to put £2,000, so that is outside of the 827 I'm aiming to pay myself £2,000. Side hustles, I'm going to put £50. I have started doing some surveys and stuff again, so hopefully I will make a little bit extra on that in September. Interest, I'm leaving as zero for now. Dividends, zero. I do get very small dividends. I've got about £500 worth of um, part stocks and shares in one of my apps and I do get a few pennies worth of dividends each month but I just reinvest those pennies and I when I say pennies I mean it like it's one or two p each month <laughs> um, because obviously I've only got a very small amount of stocks and shares. Sold items I'm gonna go crazy with a hundred pounds I'm back on the vintage thing there's still I've actually realized that there's stuff other than clothes that I can sell on Vinted. So it's been really good. I've sold a file of facts on there. I've sold uh, some more books and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to keep going with that. Um, child benefit is £145 for two children. This is something I'll need to look at. I've never, like for the last maybe four years, I haven't received child benefit because of earning too much. So you start losing it once you earn over £50,000 and then it's like a sliding scale to £60,000 where you lose it completely. So usually, like until very recently where I've had less income, I claimed it and then I used to put it straight into a pot in my bank account ready for when I do my tax return and then obviously lots of it goes back. 
Um, I'm actually taking that money as part of my income at the moment because it has been lower and it's really, really helpful. Um, I personally find it a really unfair benefit because me as a single parent can earn £60,000 and get nothing. Whereas you could have a household with a mum and a dad or two mums or two dads or whatever, two parents. And they could both be earning um, £49,000 each and they would still get the benefit. So I personally find this it, it offends me. It makes me really annoyed every time I think about it. Anyway, child maintenance. I'm expected to get £500 from their dad. And then I have two other of his family members who top up the rest to the 660 that he should be paying because he refused to pay the rest. Uh, universal credit. I'm not expecting to get any. I still haven't had any for July when I claimed, but maybe that will come at some point in August. Obviously, I'm filming this before September has started. And expenses was if I pay myself back from my business, because sometimes I pay for stuff out of my own money for ease, and then I pay myself back out my business, but I'm not expecting any expenses money this month. So that is a grand total of £3,782, so significantly higher than where I have been. So what are we going to do with that money? Let's have a look at my expenses so september the kids will be back at school and they will be on free school meals so everybody in london primary school age children will be getting free school meals from september i believe i need to check that they haven't changed their mind but that was what the mayor of london said was going to be happening so i am reducing my food budget to 200 pounds i'll be no longer making packed lunches and the children eat dinners at the childminders for three nights a week so this would be for me to feed the children at the weekends, two nights a week, and to feed myself bre bre breakfast and lunch, and obviously the kids breakfast. Um, I think we can do it for £200. Eating out, I'm not going to budget anything at the moment. Um, transport, I'm not going to budget anything. £40 for petrol, which is just under a tank, but I don't use a whole tank every month. It's really just like school run type um, journeys that I use my car for and it's hybrid so it doesn't use that much electricity um petrol kids spending I'm gonna budget 20 pounds and I'm gonna budget 80 pounds for myself for my spending money Sonny is our dog I'm gonna put 20 pounds in there he currently has loads of food stocked up um, but that's just going to be to sort of build that back up for when he needs something again that doesn't include vets and stuff like that because he has a lot of his stuff is covered under the uh like pet plan that I already paid to the vet which is in my bills and yeah so but I will be hopefully after like now I'm starting to get my finances back on track and get a bit more money coming in I do want to start a sinking fund for him because the insurance that I took out he's only a puppy but the insurance that I took out I got a co-pay one like they do in America so you pay a percentage of um, the treatment so we usually in the UK have in um, have insurance policies where we have a um, a small fee that you pay at the beginning before the insurance pays back and it has got that which I think is like 100 but they all it also has a 10% copay so where he's a sausage dog he might need an operation that could cost up to £16,000 if he gets a hurt back um, which is a risk with the breed and he's actually quite low risk because of his breeding and stuff. He's He's got no, no signs of it in his family tree. But if he does have a back injury, it could be up to £16,000 and I would pay 10% of that. So I do need to start a sinking fund so that when he's a few years older, if that was to happen, I'd have some money put to one side. But this month, I'm just putting £20 in. Health is getting nothing. It still has £80 in. Um, I've really got to get the kids to the dentist and we do have a private dentist, so that might not be enough, but I will just have to see. Gifts, I'm going to top up with 20 because it's been a while. And then kids clubs. And this is why I've been quite tight on other things. I think I'm going to have to pay around £400 to kids activities after school clubs and stuff like that which is outside of the childminder amber does dance and she's taking up acro which is a type of gymnastics and callum does creative writing but he also wants to get into skateboarding so we've been doing some skateboarding this summer and he loves it he's also keen to start drumming lessons again so i've got 400 pounds there but that will have to be paid in september but it will be the payment for a few months probably till christmas 
cleaner 240 which is her usual fee um and then household i'm going to put 50 that's for like cleaning products kitchen roll toilet roll um babysitter i'm not going to have a babysitter budget for september i am going on a trip with work um during september so that will be my fun for the month and i'm very fortunate that for this trip my stepmom is going to be looking after the children for me and she isn't going to make me pay so i don't need a babysitting budget and i will just have the rest of september without going out because to be honest with you i'm not going to need to because i'm going to be so happy that i managed to go on this trip in september which i of course will tell you guys more about when the time is right self-care i'm going to put 100 in because i am getting my hair cut just before i go away and then business, I'm not planning to spend my own money on the business this month. So just to quickly run through my bills, my council tax is £138. That is with the single person discount. My pet insurance is 33 It would have been something like 55 but I put the 10% copay in and got it down to 33 which I was really happy with. It's a lot more than other dogs, particularly because he's a puppy. He's not even a year old. But as I mentioned before, sausage dogs come with risk. Childcare, £400. Vet membership, £18. Health insurance is £123 a month, which is an extravagance, but I and my children have a number of different health conditions and I just probably would not be able to cope with the anxiety of not having health insurance now, um, just given the way that everything is in the UK at the moment. Mortgage is £942. I was looking the other day and if this was on the current rates, this would be £1,000. £850. So I'm really lucky I'm still on a fixed rate, but it does beg the question, what am I going to do between now and when my fixed rate runs out? Because I won't be able to afford that. So um, yeah, I we're working on it. <laughs> Home insurance is £22. Energy is coming out at about 80 but I'm budgeting 100 I really want to start... I switched my account to only charge me... It's like a direct debit, but for the amount it I've used. So I'm only being charged what I've used. But So I need to either create a bit of a sinking fund so that I've got the money for bigger bills in the winter or top up the account with more than what I'm using. One way or another, I in these summer months, I do need to make some headway with that so that I can afford the um, energy costs in the winter. Because whilst they have obviously started to go down a little bit compared to where we were last winter, they will still be higher than um, two years ago. Phone is 35. Life insurance is also 22. And um, the internet is 56, although I think that might be going up. I managed to get it down, but it's been really rubbish. So I've had to upgrade again because they basically said that the lower scale internet would be okay but it's not it's taking me hours to upload youtube videos um and then my car is 138 pounds so for all of my expenses that's 1170 pounds which again you can see over here in the summary has filtered through um my bills and my expenses which i feel like generally my expenses are kind of i mean there's there's some self-care in there, kids clubs and a bit of spending money, which is probably not classed as a luxury. But I also think that it's not that out there. <laughs> it's not shopping. It's not clothes. It's not, you know. But anyway, so that's all there. And it's showing over here that I've basically got a remaining eight, 800, I wish, £585 to um, put to use, essentially. Now, I haven't put any money in any of our like ISAs or investments or anything for ages. And I really want to get back into the habit of that. And I haven't had the money to and I probably don't still really. But I just want to make like a little nod to I want to start getting back into that. So I'm going to put £10 in my and the kids ISAs. And I'm also going to pop £10 into my Stocks and Shares app. And just I so I have a uh, different ways of doing stocks and shares so I'll put 10 pounds in and spread that across a number of different companies um just to top it up I have actually had really quite good success like I say it's a really small amount of money I basically had 400 pounds in about a year ago it's now worth over 500 pounds because those shares that I bought had done particularly well so 
yeah, like I've been quite lucky with it, but it was always going to be a long term saving anyway. Yeah, £40 into investments just because I want to start that back up again. And then coming over to savings, I am going to budget 200 for my emergency fund, which feels like a lot. Obviously, if I don't get all of the income that I have just talked about and I'm expecting, then this might need to change. Month ahead is going to get nothing because the work that's coming in now, I'm feeling relatively confident that I will also be able to pay myself a similar amount in October. So I'm not worrying about month ahead right now, but I will try to build up and get ahead of myself once my money's a little bit more back on track how savings is parked for now christmas is got 250 and it can just wait um callum needs 20 pounds and amber i'm just going to do 10 because she isn't her birthday isn't until july next year and it's already got 10 pounds in it so that'll make 20 and callum's is this year at the end of the year so it's good to top that up car insurance is a big one i'm going to put 250 unfortunately i had 700 pounds in my car insurance fund and i had to use it in the last sort of five to six months when i haven't had income and so it's coming up now and i need to have the money there so hopefully i will be able to get the money together in time for my car insurance i put away 200 pounds in my last cash stuffing but I have had my car tax through which I've got to pay and I think that's 160 so I'm still going to have to find a couple of hundred pounds but you know it's fine we can uh, make it work um home maintenance I'm just going to put a tenner in that will cover things like light bulbs um there's a lot more that needs doing in my house but that can wait um because I've got to get my car insurance sorted out Holiday, I'm putting in £15. We all love a holiday. We haven't got one planned at the moment. I am going on a trip, like I said, with work, but a lot of it, almost all of it, is covered. The, the cost of it will be covered. Health sinking fund is getting nothing at the moment and water is getting its usual 40 I put £40 away every month and then I'm able to pay my whole water bill in full every February, I think it is. So if we just go up to here, you can see now that my monthly summary means that I have, it says zero there at the bottom. So I have had a total income of £3,782 and I have all of that allocated to bills, expenses, some savings and a little bit of investments. So I'm doing this as a zero based budget. There will be some changes because I may or may not end August with some carryover. So things could change a little. There's always a risk to my income. I'm self-employed, so we'll just need to see what happens there. And obviously, like things like sold items on Vinted and all of these other things, there's always a risk. Even with child maintenance, my ex, who I don't have any contact with, may not pay. Like, you know, so... And if those things happen, we'll just deal with them as and when they happen. But for now, this is a plan that I'm happy with. I'm, I'm not so happy that I have come to the point where I need to do my car insurance and I still haven't managed to get my car insurance topped back up. But never mind. I may still get a backdated um, payment for universal credit for when I was due it. And if I do, then that can go towards that. So we shall see. But for now, that is my September budget. Thank you so much for watching. I will still be cash stuffing monthly. So stay tuned for that video. I've got a live update coming as well, which I think might interest you. And I'll be telling you a little bit more about what I'm doing at the moment with my career, my self-employment and how things are just generally going. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.